Breaking news coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu. Now, ED officials have arrested Tamil Nadu Minister Senthil Balaji in money laundering case. Now, Tamil Nadu Minister breaks down while being taken in custody by the ED. The arrest follows an 18-hour questioning at the minister's home in Chennai. Enforcement Directorate had held searches at Senthil Balaji's official chamber in the state secretariat and bungalow in Chennai and other places linked to him in Karur and Coimbatore. Tamil Nadu CM has called it an attack on federal structure. So indeed, a big breaking news coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu, where ED officials... Okay, I have CNN News 18's Purnima Murli joining me on the phone line. Purnima, very good morning to you. Could you give us more details about that arrest? Well, at around 2 a.m., we, uh, we saw ED officials' uh, car leaving the premises along with minister. Uh, sources from the department say that uh, while they were uh, planning to take Senthil Balaji to uh, the office for further investigation post the arrest, the minister had reportedly complained of chest pain and was taken to Omandurar uh, Government Hospital. And uh, currently he's been undergoing treatment, but sources confirm that he's been arrested. And uh, this took place nearly 20 hours after the raids began. Remember, at around... Uh, 8 a.m. yesterday, the raids began at the uh, official residence uh, of the minister in Chennai. And at around 2.30 uh, p.m., raids began at the secretariat uh, at the minister's office chamber. And the raids continued at, till about 2 a.m. And after that, after 20 hours of raids, the raids ended where he was, uh, he was all set to be taken to the office for further interrogation, but uh, uh, was taken to uh, was rushed to government hospital after he complained of chest pain. At the moment, as we speak, Sandal Balaji is undergoing treatment at Omandurat uh, government hospital. Well, uh, Purnima, what do we know about that 18-hour long investigation that took place in this particular case? Well, this case dates back to 2014 when Sendil Balaji was uh, the transport minister during the ADMK government. What we are given to understand is that uh, the entire uh, the entire raids were in context uh, of the job scam. Remember, uh, the job scam uh, uh, alleges that uh, the minister had, uh, in fact, taken money from people promising government jobs in the transport department, and uh, and this also was uh, waked up by uh, the DG. JP, remember, the Supreme Court heard the same case and had uh, and had also asked for a thorough probe to be conducted in this case. So this comes exactly after the Supreme Court had asked uh, for a fresh probe in the case. Meanwhile, the BJP had also met with Governor Arvind Ravi and demanded the resignation of Sendal Balaji uh, to ensure that a thorough probe be conducted. Until the time uh, the probe is conducted, the minister should resign is, is uh, the petition that was submitted by the BJP. Uh, before the governor in this context. So this is, is related to the 2014 job scam where the minister uh, was allegedly uh, collecting bribe to offer government jobs. That was the allegation made. And that was, in fact, being, uh, uh, being interrogated or investigated by the ED from 8 a.m. yesterday uh, uh, with Sendal Balaji. Remember, Sendal Balaji was also present at the residence when the raids were underway. He was also questioned and he was also interrogated. And after uh, nearly uh, 18 to 20 hours of uh, investigation and interrogation, he was arrested. The minister was arrested. Well, Purnima, very expectedly, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, MK Stalin, has attacked it and said that it is an attack on um, federal structure. What do we know about that? The word coming in from MK Stalin himself. Well, MK Stalin's statement said that uh, it doesn't matter who is being raided, it matters where it's being raided. And remember, the Secretariat was raided, and that, in fact, uh, did not go down well with the DMK. The DMK questioned uh, the move by the agencies to enter uh, the, sec uh, the Secretariat and conduct trades and said that this is an attack on cooperative federalism. And that, in fact, was also being supported by other opposition parties in uh, in, in the country, including uh, we've seen the Congress, uh, uh, Mamta Banerjee, Arvind Kejriwal, all of them coming out in support saying that how can uh, the agencies enter the Secretariat and conduct trades and that is against cooperative federalism and that is something that Chief Minister had highlighted and late last, last evening also thanked all the opposition parties who had come out in support of uh, uh, who had come out in support of uh, uh, the, the DMK 
in its uh, in its fight against these agencies entering the secretariat and also in the statement chief minister said that uh, uh, that uh, these uh, raids will not silence the opposition and that they are not threatened uh, these are all politically motivated uh, these are all politically motivated raids and these are uh, and conducting raids at the secretariat is against is is an attack on cooperative federalism and we will not allow this to happen and also alleged that the bjp is using these agencies to silence and threaten the opposition parties and the bjp w- and, and 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 the bjp is doing this but it's not going to work in tamil nadu the dnk is not scared of these raids is a statement that came in from chief minister last evening and later that night thanks other parties for coming out in support uh so the raids that took place at the secretariat Well, Purnima, as we are showing our viewers in the visuals as well, that he, uh, Senthil Balaji, sort of broke down also, and now, as you told us, that he has been taken to the hospital as well. What lies next for him? Well, they will have to, uh, they will have to take the legal course uh, possible. Remember, yesterday when the raids were going on, all the senior leaders of the DMK also came out in support. These are senior leader R S Bharati. Uh, uh outside the residence of uh, Sendil Balaji uh seeing that uh, seeing that these are uh, these are politically motivated raids and said that uh, the timing of this comes exactly uh, two days after Amit Shah had uh, visited uh, the, the the capital uh, city and uh, uh, they also question the timing and interestingly um the dmk has come out in support of sendil balaji since yesterday and called these politically motivated now that the arrest has finally been made uh, the dmk will now uh, take the legal route possible and try to ensure that uh, uh, that purnima uh, i request uh, you to please hold on i have uh, reactions coming in from dmk side let's listen it No, no, next course of action will be decided by only by the high level command of the party sir now it is absolutely what is happening is absolutely illegal unlawful is unconstitutional it is only to harass the party and the image of our leader mr mk stalin in order to fetch unlawful gain by the modi government in course of forthcoming parliamentary election all this has been happening so it is only intention is to harass Purnima, well, coming back to you, as we heard DMK MLA saying that it is con- um, unlawful, it is illegal, and the only intention for these uh, raids was sort of to harass uh, Senthil Balaji. What do you have to say about that? So this is something that uh, the DMK has been saying ever since uh, Senthil Balaji was raided by IT. Remember, the, uh, it was the IT raids first, which, which went on for about a week. Even then, the DMK called it politically motivated raids. And now with the ED uh, probing the the case at this last 2014, uh, once again DMK says that these arrests are only uh, unlawful and and that uh, and that uh, the, the ED does not even have evidence to prove anything against the minister and the arrest is unlawful and uh, says that they will soon uh, uh, decide on the next course of action. Of course, the legal route is something that the the DMK will start working on. But uh, from day one, they've been saying that these raids are politically motivated, and that the BJP is using the agencies to raid to conduct the raids. However, right now with the arrest, DNK calls it unlawful and says that it's a way to have it and threaten the DNK. But the DNK is not scared because of these arrests. They will look at uh, the next course of action uh, legally, as well as the party's decision will be taken today on what they plan to do next. Uh, we'll have to wait for an official statement that comes in from the chief minister in a short while from now. Well, Poonima, talking about these uh, 